Hello everybody, welcome to another Valheim video. Today, we're going to be learning about sister seeds in Valheim. Up until yesterday, I didn't even know these existed. Recently, King of Field commented on my Supercontinents video with the seed 4D. And as I was looking at this seed, I was like, this looks really, really familiar. 4D, the other seed. 4D, the other seed. The land masses are identical. I've never seen this before. And what's even crazier is the seed I'm comparing it to is my channel name, JP Valheim. This commenter submitted a seed that's basically a clone of this seed that is my channel name. And I can't even fathom what the chances are of that. It really blew my mind to see this. To illustrate this point, I've zoomed in closer and I'll continuously tab back and forth between these different seeds. And we can see the terrain is the same, but notice that the rivers actually change place. Now let's compare some actual locations on the seed so you can see what I'm talking about in game. This is a really cool area that has a bunch of planes and a huge mislands on one seed, but on the other, here's the same spot on the sister server. It's almost all planes with just a little smudge of mislands in the middle. That's and here we have another example. This seed is basically just a plains with a big steep mountain right there. Whereas here, instead of just having the mountain, we also have this river going right through, separating these two mountains. And this river is totally absent in the other version. As you can see here, instead of a vast sailable river, you get a swamp and a tiny little stream. No way you could sail through that. But it's not just the exotic locations that are different. Here's the starting area with a convenient spawn right next to the ocean and then a river cutting through. And here's the sister seed with the spawn spot just as close to the coastline, but no river cutting through. And it's so fascinating seeing how the terrain gets developed the biomes put in and the river slapped on. I just find it so cool. You see, if you were actually gonna play on one of these worlds, I would recommend the one from the comment, 4D, because of the location of the bosses and the traders in particular. And all the bosses are quite convenient. These worlds are both technically supercontinent seeds though. I mean, if you look at how far these stretch, they actually go all the way off to the left over here to the very tiniest tip of deep north. It's remarkable just how different some of these places are. Look at this beautiful view with this incredible river leading up to that mountain off in the distance. Here we are in the same exact spot. You can see the mountain off in the distance, but there's no river. And instead, this is all a big black forest. Crazy seeing how these biomes change, isn't it? And there you have it. Now you know, sister seeds exist in Valheim. Don't get me wrong, I've seen that sometimes there's patterns, right? You'll have seeds that have a whole sector that's sort of the same as on another seed, but I'd never seen separate seeds have identical land masses like this seed. It really is identical terrain it's just the biomes and the rivers are in different places, including all of the locations, of course. Have you ever seen a sister seed? Well, comment below and let us know. I love learning about this kind of stuff, and you guys have shared so many incredible seeds with me. And if you want to support my work, then consider renting your own dedicated Valheim server from Zap Hosting using my link, JP Valheim. Additionally, if you like watching Valheim videos on YouTube, consider liking this video or any other video about Valheim, and that's going to tell YouTube to recommend more of this kind of content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.